Welcome to this new Concepts Document Control Tip of the Month. This month, we talk about watermarks on documents. A watermark is a layer of text applied onto a document. Why use watermarks? It's a way to provide information without modifying the document itself and as a layer applied on top of the document, you can use it for multiple reasons. For example, you can use it to inform the reader that a document is a draft, an obsolete document, or a confidential document, or an uncontrolled document. I will show you now how to add watermarks easily on documents. Make sure that you stay till the end because I'm going to give you three pro tips to make your life easier when it comes to watermarking. For this tutorial, I'll be using Adobe Acrobat because it's a widely used software in many offices and it also contains really cool features for watermarks. So we are going to open our document in Adobe Acrobat and then click on the Edit PDF button from the right hand side menu. This opens the Edit menu at the top of the document. We are going to go to the Watermark menu and select Add and the window that opens will allow you to customize your watermark. So in front of text, write down the watermark as you want it to be displayed. Change the settings in terms of font, size and color. Change the rotation setting if applicable and then click on OK. The watermark now appears as a layer on all pages of the document. And here we come to my first pro tip, which is modify the opacity. By default, the watermark has an opacity at 100%, which means that it will hide the text that is behind it. So if we want to still be able to read the document despite the watermark, we'll need to change the opacity. That's done when you are setting up your watermark. After setting up the color and size of your watermark, change the opacity so that the watermark now allows to read the text that is behind it. Typically, an opacity ratio between 20 and 25% is appropriate, but you can play with the opacity settings to customize it to your specific needs. Tip number two, save your settings for next time. Don't you hate when you have to do the same task over and over again? I'll show you a great feature that will cut down 90% of the time you spend on watermarking. Once you have done the setup of your watermark, before clicking on OK, go towards the top of the window and click on Save Settings. Give a name to that watermark settings and click OK twice. So next time you will have the same watermark to insert on a document, you will just have to click on Add Watermark, then select the saved watermark and voila! you just saved a lot of precious time. This takes us to tip number three. I kept one of the most amazing features for last because this one will literally change your work life when you have a whole bunch of documents to watermark. For example, when you have 300 isometrics drawings to make obsolete, or when you want people to be aware that all documents from a specific folder should be used with caution because they are uncontrolled. Adobe Acrobat allows you to insert the same watermark on a batch of documents all in one go. This will save a lot of your time because without this feature, you will need to open the 300 documents one by one and insert the watermark manually in each one of them. To do that, from the Add Watermark window, click on Apply to Multiple Files. Browse to add the files that need watermarking, click Open and then OK. Here you set up how the output files should be. For example, you can have Adobe change the file names at this point if you wish to. Then Adobe Acrobat will process the watermarking in the background, allowing you to do other tasks at the same time. Do you think watermarks could be useful in your daily work life? If you already use watermarks at work, what do you use them for? Let us know in the comments below. If you wish to know more about document control and improve your skills in and around document control, join us in one of our courses, which allow to develop your skills and get your career on the right track. We have different courses, each one designed to accompany you throughout your career in document control. You can find the link in the description below. We regularly release new content on document control. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and to hit the notification bell to be notified of any useful new content.